Hello, how are we today? I hope you're good. Today I'm just gonna do a quick video and show you how I do my nails at home. They are coming off currently, so we're gonna chat about it. I'm gonna show you how I take the, this is gel polish, gel polish off, and then what I do and what my issues are and how I work around those to do my nails at home. Um, it's nothing glamorous. I keep my short nails because if not, I just can't do anything. I love acrylics. I love SNS, but they just get in the way and I always hurt myself somehow. Um, like I'll hit them on things or whatever. So it's just better for me personally to keep my short nails and they stay a lot longer when they're short for me. So let's talk about it. Don't forget to subscribe and I love you all. Thanks for joining me today. The first thing we're gonna do is this um, gel remover. It's this thick, pasty stuff that you just put on your nails and you let it sit. And you do have to do a couple of layers. So I did not scrape the top coat off of this, but you can, and it goes a lot faster. But just for video purposes, I just did one coat and you just leave it there and you let it hang out and it will start bubbling up and then you can kind of scrape it off. So this first layer that I'm scraping off here is going to be the gel um, glitter that's in the polish and the top coat because with the glitter, it takes a little bit longer, I think, to really get it off unless you do kind of scrape off the top coat first, but I forgot. I did it on my other hand, but I didn't show you that, so I apologize. So you just kind of scrape it off and then you apply another coat and this will kind of permeate through the rest of it. You just have to get through the top and middle coats in the first time and then the second layer the second time. And it just peels right off and I forgot to press film, I'm so sorry. But here, this is after the second coat, you can see it just literally scrapes off into a little heap and I am just using a metal nail file to scrape all that off a little bit better. And now we have clean nails. So I'm going to take the rough side of a nail file and just kind of scuff it up and make sure everything is off of my nail bed. Um, there was a little bit of base coat left, so I'm just getting that off and make sure, making sure that there's a rough surface for the gel polish to stick to. And I'm also going to like file my nail a little bit because I really want them short because my nails are stupid and if they have any sort of like bendiness to them so if they're anywhere past my fingertip any nail polish i will wear will crack gel normal anything it will crack i don't know what's wrong with my nails they're pretty flimsy i have decent hair and decent skin i drink a lot of water i think i eat a decent diet but my entire life from little baby emily to 29 year old emily my nails are just flimsy. I don't know what it is. And I feel like they're also clammy, which is weird sounding because how can nail beds be clammy? But if I have normal polish on my nails, it just chips off immediately. If I have normal gel polish that's not glitter, it just peels off immediately. I don't know what it is about my nails and it peels off in one whole piece. Like it doesn't chip when it's gel. It just peels off in one entire piece. So I don't really know what's going on. But I am now pushing down my cuticles a little bit. I don't have really bad ones this time, but I am pushing them down anyways just to make my nails a little bit cleaner and more polished. And then I'm going to take my cuticle clippers and trim them. I am in no way a certified nail technician or a genius when it comes to nails or incredibly talented. I'm just doing my best here and sorry about the focus, but I'm just doing my best and just cleaning up the excess skin that I can without, you know, cutting my skin on my fingers open. And I think I do a decent job. I think so. It's not the prettiest. I have seen prettier when I go to a nail salon, but if I go to a nail salon and get my toes and my nails done, I'm spending like a hundred bucks. Whereas here I spend like 20 bucks to purchase the stuff. Um, over time, you know, it's a little more than that, but after you gather all of your supplies, it becomes a far cheaper process when you average out the price across all the times that you do your nails at home. It becomes far cheaper than doing your nails at a salon. So that's my choice. And yeah, we're done clipping the cuticles here. 
Now I'm taking my little buffer thingy and I'm just buffing out my nails to make sure it's all fully clean and ready to go. And then I'm gonna take the rough side of this um, file one more time and scrape the actual nail bed just to make sure it's a little rough so that my polish can for sure stick to my nail bed because I'm not trying to do this and have it completely come off two days later. And it normally stays for at least a week and a half. Now I am using a base coat. I got this from Sally's, I believe. Um, it's just a normal gel base coat. So I'm gonna put that on first per use. You always need a base coat if you forget it. I mean, it just is what it is. It's probably not gonna work out. So we're just gonna put the base coat on all of our fingernails and it doesn't have to be thick. You just want like a nice thin little coat to um, be there and it becomes tacky and then your actual color will stick to it. I don't know the science, but it works. I don't know. The three layers on top of each other, it works. And then we're gonna put it in our little UV light. Now they're out and I got this one from Amazon. It came with like six or eight, I can't remember, six or eight colors. And it's just straight glitter gel polish. And this is what seems to work best for me. If I put white or black or color, it looks messy because it's not a great straight bottom line, if that makes sense. Um, so with glitter, it's kind of see-through, but it's pretty opaque once you get both coats on. And you can't even tell if I messed up because it's just glitter and it's not a stark difference between the polish and my fingernail. So I'm just putting the first coat on here, making sure it's not on my skin, because if it is, it'll just come off and it might crack the nail polish on your nail. So try and keep your skin clean from gel because it will dry on your skin. And then we're going under the UV light again. And here we are. I have now done two coats of the gel and I'm moving into the top coat. So we had the base coat, we had the first coat of gel, we had the second coat of gel, glitter, and then we have the top coat. All in between, we will be putting our hands into the UV light. And my UV light is a little small, so I can't like fully lay my hand out. So I put my first four fingers in first, cook those, and then I'll put my thumb in there and um, cure that one. Just to make sure that everything's getting cured because normally my thumb lays a little sideways and I don't think it gets enough coverage for the light and now we're gonna take our 91% isopropyl alcohol which is just what I have for you know medicinal purposes of cleaning wounds and whatnot but that is what I use to take this tacky layer off of my nails and it works and why would I not buy that instead of buying the more expensive you know nail gel cleaner offer liquid that is literally just the same thing as what I'm using because it works every time for me and if you tell me it doesn't I won't believe you because I do it all the time and now I'm just going to take a little thinner file that's kind of smooth and make sure all of my nail beds are detached I'm gonna say from the sides of my finger skin because I don't want it to lift or anything like that so I'm just making sure all of the top part of the nail is separated and my finger is not attached by <laughs> nail polish to it just to you know make sure we're doing it good and because there's glitter it can be a little pokey if it dries kind of on the top so i'm just filing all that down just to give it a nice profesh look welcome back to my face view we're done I did my right hand off camera because it takes me far longer because I am right-handed. However, I feel like it turns out better because I take my time far more because I feel crazy with my left hand. Anyways, I have pink sparkly nails now. They're short, they're cute, they're pretty. My cuticles are pretty cleaned up and that is how I do my nails. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions. And if you watch my Tuesday Hey It's Emily's, I will update you next Tuesday to let you know. It is currently Tuesday. So next Tuesday, I'll let you know if my nails are still there. Okay? Okay. Love you. Subscribe.
come back next time and I'll see you again. Bye.